Hi everyone, I'm Patty Behan and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you the emboss resist technique using Ranger's embossing powder and dye ink pads. So let's get started. All right, so what you need for this technique is a stamp, clear embossing ink, some dye ink pads, embossing powder, and then we have some other tools here. We have our handle it tool and the anti-static pouch. And off to the side, I have a heat gun for melting the embossing powder. So to start, we wanna take our anti-static pouch and we're going to rub it over the top. And this helps prevent the embossing powder from sticking to places where you don't want it to be. And then we're going to ink up the stamp stamp the image in the center here. I have it cut to the size I want. And then I have this piece of scrap paper here and I'm going to pour some pink embossing powder over the top. And then I'm going to remove the excess like so. And then I want to return this back to the jar so it doesn't go to waste. And then I have one little piece of stray embossing powder and I'm going to take a brush to get that off carefully. Okay. And then I'm going to take my handle it tool to hold my sentiment while I emboss. And once that's done, we just have to let this cool a second before we can begin to do the next part, which is the resist technique. And I'm going to take some over the moon dye ink. And you can do this technique with any type of dye ink because um, since the embossing powder cools down to a glossy finish, it will resist the ink. So you don't want to use a permanent ink because it will stick to your embossing powder. That's why the dye ink is so important. So what you do is you just um, take, I have a domed foam on my blending tool and you're just putting ink on the foam and blending over top. And as you can see, the ink is resisting the embossing powder so it doesn't change the color. It stays true to the color. And so it looks, it's one of those things where it's like, how'd you do that? So to bring it up closely, this is what it looks like. Now to continue our card, I'm gonna make a background. And for that, I already um, embossed it using white embossing powder. And um, I didn't wanna show this on camera because you can't really see the white embossing powder. So it's the same technique. And to me, I think the white embossing powder is one of my favorite things to use because you can see it really well. But you can do it this with any kind of embossing powder, any color. So I'm gonna start off by 
inking up my blending foam. And then you can see how it resists the embossing powder and, and that it's white and it's not changing the color. Hold it up so you can see it a little better. Give it a chance to focus. And then you just continue on to ink up the background. And you can do multiple colors. You can do one color. It all depends. And you can mix and match colors. Also, you would probably get the same effect um, using clear embossing powder on the white, but I feel like the using the white embossing powder just makes it stand out a little bit more. So next I'm gonna take rosy cheeks. And this is just a quick and easy way to get a stunning background. And also, if you want to take your time doing this, you can use like a mini blending tool and color in the individual images if you like. That would work too. Okay, that looks good. And next, I'm going to go with Prom Queen ink to finish off the rest. Just like so. And I'm kind of going in a sort of diagonal, but you could do this with um, going straight across, or you can mix and match the colors in between but I kind of like the gradient effect when doing it this way. And I think I want to go back to the top and just blend that a little bit better. Let's see if I have any ink left on this to do it. I'll get some more over the moon. good and now we're ready to put this all together it'll go together quickly because I've um, I have a top folding card and I already have a, a little mat that I inked up with some prom queen to put this on and I'm just gonna quickly and I cut this down so that um, I have a border on the card, a white border that makes it look nice. And then we'll attach this to the pink block. Like so, and then like right here. It's best not to put things in the center. You want to like do it off center like so and then there you have it. A beautiful easy background. Now let me show you some other examples of what we've made. We have a tag that we made here with white embossing powder and ink in the background. Here's another one. It's best to do this technique using a background stamp. And then here's one where, when I was mentioning about coloring in the images differently, that's a fun way to use this technique. Here's another. And then these are cut out stamped images. And then here's one where we use pink embossing powder so that you can see that you can mix and match your embossing powder colors. So 
I hope you'll give this technique a try, and if you'd like to see more embossing techniques, keep watching this series, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more crafty videos, and I'll see you next time.